Hello again folks. Right, first video of a little fix for the LaFerrari. We're not doing the steering yet, we're just doing the back axle. And because there's nothing for it to drive, this is a fairly easy fix. First of all, I suppose build at least half the axle on the back, as it says in the instruction book, to find out how many spacers it uses, and therefore find out the position of the wheel in relation to the bodywork, how far it sticks out basically, or doesn't as the case may be. So once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is to select a suitable, oh that's not bad, a suitable pivot. Now you could use a lock nut and something like a two inch uh, or so screwed rod most folks are not going to have those these days if they've only got new sets and in fact most folks are not going to have the bolt either that I'm going to show you what to use. As far as I know that's about the longest bolt that you can get. I have no idea now what set it come out of. About 46mm long that is. From the blow of the head to the end. There. All we want the wheels to do is to pivot nicely on the axle. So we're doing a stub axle as they call it. Or they used to. So remove the cap remove your grubber grommet, remove your axle, slide it through there. Now you might have a little bit of margin of error because I don't suppose everybody's going to put the body together exactly the same spot. So you might have to increase or decrease the wheel moved out or moved in by a washer or, or one in or one out or something like that. So make sure you get it as, as it suits your body work. Then we thread the bolt through the wheel. Simple as that and add your spacers followed by a nut. Now this is easier, a lot easier than the uh, Lamborghini Aventador purely because we haven't got to drive anything. You can do this uh, I would still recommend doing it with two spanners but you can use it with an, one spanner and an allen key uh, it, uh, or an allen driver like this. It, it, it is a bit, I find it a bit more awkward. Um, Basically, leave your cap off and stick your Allen key, Allen driver, in the bolt there and adjust it. Make sure you've got enough uh, room on the uh, spacers, as it were, to make it spin nicely. That's probably a, a shade to lose, to be honest, but it, it's, it's fine, it'll do. Uh, the uh, stub axle's solid. One thing to check, though, make sure the clearance here is good, because you'll be spinning forever from now to Christmas, which ain't that far away, and this will be running, hit, rubbing against it here. Now in the instruction book, this, uh, I've probably already mentioned this in the other video, instruction book, this is put in the other way, but you can't do it that way. You cannot do it that way. There's no clearance here. So it has to go in this way, this bolt facing the rear of the car. But it's still close. Uh, you have to manoeuvre these a little bit that way, angled, um, and you can do it just. So once you've got your amount of play right in the wheel, then you've got to lock it up here. Either side there's a nut that side and there's a nut that side and it's a case of tightening those against each other without altering the play here and it's at this point you may want to just tweak there pretty gently but basically tweak, tighten up, too tight, undo, slacken off fraction, tighten up again it takes a little bit of time but nowhere near as long as the Aventador the other side is just the same bolt the right amount of spaces that you need, two nuts, and just take your time adjusting it nicely, and the same with the clearance with the corner, that's fine, and to be honest, that took about 20 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. Hopefully, that will give you some idea how to do it yourselves, and yet still keep the neat um, little caps on the outside of the wheels. Bye for now.